Hey, buddy. Is that new armor? Yeah, man. It's brand new. Awesome. What's it rated? It's level three. Can stop a 308. What are you wearing? It's my new armor. Level one. What's level one? I don't think that's a thing. It is a thing. It's rated to stop a hard slap from a man or a woman. Hi! In the last video we shot some flex tape and it was terrible at stopping bullets. So this week we've really upped our game guys and I made a uh, body armor out of flex seal. Yeah, probably not gonna work either. Comes in this can and it's just like, it goes on just like paint but then it dries to be like really rubbery like this and so I thought what if I just pile it all on top of a shirt but I started painting it on and I could tell it was going to take about a bazillion layers to get any thickness so instead we made this little form and just poured it in there and we put like an inch at a time and let it dry this last inch is not actually dry yet you can see it kind of moves a little bit but like everything down here is solid rubber and you can kind of see how hard this stuff gets it feels like I'm wearing I was gonna say a trash bag, but it's more like it feels like I'm wearing a rubber rain boot. Like that's that's how thick this stuff is on my shirt. Um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna have someone come out here in the woods and shoot at me and we'll see. No, let's put it on Lieutenant Dan. That's a way better idea. Lieutenant Dan, it is great to see you, my friend. And you know, you're looking extra fabulous in your brand new state-of-the-art body armor made by Matt Carricker. If this works, I am going to be a multi-trillionaire because it just, it just will. It just looks great, feels great, works great in the perfect world. We'll see what happens in the real world though. This is a non-scientific test because, well, we're kind of skewing the results. We're trying to make this thing bulletproof. So in an effort to make this thing have the best chance of stopping bullets, first we're gonna shoot a nine millimeter, but not just any nine millimeter. I don't know if you've ever seen these. These are, called rat shot so it's like a shotgun out of a nine millimeter you see all those little tiny bb's so this plastic will hit and then deliver bb's into our body armor so maybe we'll have the best chance of stopping also since that first layer is still kind of wet on the inside he's probably gonna ooze the flex seal out of the body armor which is not ideal. I'm a scientist, a redneck scientist. One thing right off the bat that I've noticed about my new body armor is uh, it's a little saggy hooked to a t-shirt. So maybe on um, revision two, we'll have a stronger backing, but you know what? You gotta start somewhere, right? And we're starting with uh, my gun jamming on the rat shot. Um, let, me, let me see if I can get this to fit in here. It's not looking good. Oh, we got it, we got it. These things are not made to function in a semi-automatic firearm. All right, Lieutenant, are you ready for the rat shot? You okay? Literally nothing hit. I know for a fact I was on target. I'm at like 10 feet and there's no hole here. What happened? I have, I have no idea. We're gonna do the exact same thing, same rat shot, same target, but we're about half the distance, so we're much closer now. I think that will make a difference. It won't spread as much, and uh, we'll see what it does to our new body armor. Oh yeah, solid, solid hit. And the rat shot's running great. So it was getting hit the first time too, but you can see these little things just bounce right off that outer layer. You can see all the little dots. That is from our shot hitting it but I don't even think they're going through the first layer. Oh, actually look, he's bleeding a little bit. Something did make it through the first layer somewhere. We got a little bit of flex seal blood coming out of Lieutenant Dan. Let's step it up a bit. We made these thick shirts with the M249. For those who don't know, uh, thick is what you'd call a girl who's got curves in all the right places, you know? And that's what I think about when I think of an M249 saw. Like, that gun is 
thick, you know, it's not like a little wimpy gun. It's not like a little skinny AR-15, like everybody wants to be an AR-15, they're so skinny and sexy. No, M249 has got curves. It's got some meat on it, you know? And so we made a thick shirt, and also don't call your wife thick. Don't ask me how I know, but if you're interested, we're only selling these shirts until Friday, and then they're gone forever. Link in description. I am still trying to give my body armor the best chance of stopping bullets, so what we're gonna do now is shoot this giant revolver, but we're shooting a 410 shotgun shell out of it. This is number six birdshot out of a Taurus Judge, and I, I think that this will stop. We have a little piece of cardboard underneath my target, so we'll know if this goes through or not. I think it's going to stop. I hope it's going to stop. I'll cry if it does not stop. Yeah! You okay, buddy? He seems okay. All right, what do we got? Still looking pretty good on the front. Let's check out our piece of cardboard here. Okay, you can see where we were not armored, it's peppered. Here though, is where our armor was, right there. Totally safe. Basically, I built bulletproof armor. You're welcome, Lieutenant Dan. Let's step it up a little further though, to a not shotgun pistol round. A real high-powered rifle. This is a Henry Firearms Evil Roy. Chambered in 22 long rifle. I know, I know, it's big. But we're actually shooting a 22 short out of it. It's actually, it's chambered for 22 short or 22 long rifle. All right, we are shooting a 22 short out of a rifle. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna be really sad if this thing busts through. But it won't, it won't. I have confidence in my product. He's dripping. Wow, oh, Lieutenant Dan's losing blood. He's bleeding out over there. Lieutenant? Lieutenant! Lieutenant, you're bleeding out. You're bleeding out bad. Oh man, we need, a, we need to find something to plug the hole. Uh, what can I, I need something to plug the hole. Um, there it is. All right, where is the hole? There you go. Better? Mm, no, not better. Oh gosh, dang it. Okay, well. That layer is just, you know, it's it's just not, oh my gosh, he's bleeding more now. I just made it worse. Well, let's see if uh, I went all the way through. Was that hole there before? That's above where our target was anyway, but here is the cardboard that was behind him. No hole. So we're good. Oh man, he's deflating. You can see it sucking in here. Um, hmm. Well, so if you think about it, we actually only have about, yeah, probably two thirds of that is full of hard rubber. This is all liquid pouring onto the ground. That's what it looks like normally. It's this really thick, nasty, rubbery stuff. You're supposed to wait like 48 hours for it to cure. Um, and so we've been working on this for like a week. And this was just the last layer that we did uh, yesterday. So it obviously was a worthless layer. But that kind of gives you an idea of what this stuff looks like normally. Just liquid rubber. And then it turns into regular rubber. <laughs> So next up I was planning on uh, going to a 9mm, like an actual 9mm, like a bullet, not like rat shot. Um, I don't have high hopes, but you know what, I just thought if I'm going to kill Lieutenant Dan, I, we should do it in style. And also I have a new gun that I wanted to show you guys. It's, it's something. This is a gold AR chambered in nine millimeter. So this gun is made by F1 Firearms. It's all skeletonized, look at that, look at that, and it's gold. So I, uh, I had a gold Tommy gun. I was like, you know what I need is a gold AR-15. And I thought, well let's do it in nine millimeter. It takes a Glock 18 mag. Here's what we're shooting to. We're shooting some actually plus B hollow points at it, so, um, Pretty good chance it's gonna go through and kill our old buddy, Lieutenant Dan. But is this not just a beauty? You know what, I actually didn't sight this thing in either, so uh, I just put sights on it just now. It's probably gonna work fine. Okay. It is now time to test 
the new gun against possibly the best body armor that we've seen manufactured in years. Possibly the worst. Time will tell. Oh! What was that? So, uh... Not looking good. Saw the blood splatter from him. <laughs> so we have Lieutenant Dan Blood all the way out here. Yeah, it's not looking good. Not looking good. He's bleeding out again. That one actually tore the whole front open. You can see where the bullet went in right there. Tore all this open. There was so much force. Oh, geez. Um, let's see what we got in here. Oh. <laughs> Version 2 will be way better, I promise, guys. You know, we had some issues with version 1, but version... Nah, I don't think this will ever work. I decided, uh, just to finish it off, since this idea definitely didn't work. This was your idea, by the way. I did this because of you guys. It wasn't me. I would have thought of way better ideas, but you guys wanted to see Flex Seal. Uh, I mean, have you seen the infomercial? Let me just roll a clip of that first so you can see how ridiculous it is and why you guys wanted to do it. And I thought, that is, that is a pretty good idea. Here it is. Enjoy. We made this entire airboat out of screen and covered it in Flex Seal liquid. Flying through alligator-infested swamps and the inside is completely dry. Yahoo! Brush, roll, dip, or pour. Imagine everything you could do with Flex Seal Liquid. See, it's great. Phil Swift seems like a great guy at all, but his product sucks at stopping bullets. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and send Lieutenant Dan on. You know, you don't want to just wound Lieutenant Dan and leave him. You got to finish him. I, I'm not going to go look, but I have a feeling that all of those stopped with our body armor. We have a big thing coming up soon. I think possibly the next video. If not, it'll be the one after that. We got big plans, big things coming on Demo Ranch, but I, I can't tell you what they are right now. If you're interested, check out our thick shirts. Uh, really, they're awesome, and they're only gonna be here for like two more days. And um, I wanna give you a hint for what we're doing this week. Um, no hint, but I love you. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch, and I'll see you next time! Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad car? Bobby! <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.